Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In my video today, I'm going to talk about how we can use eye features inside of Autodesk Inventor to help automate repetitive tasks. But first, what exactly is an eye feature? I like to think of an eye feature as Inventor's version of an AutoCAD block. It takes repetitive information and allows us to can it in such a way that we can place it multiple times quickly and easily. It can also make use of variables and tables to help us create variants of this geometry if there are variants of that information that we want to use over and over again. So we can also make these intelligent. But for this first video, let's go ahead and just extract a simple eye feature and place it on an existing part so we can see how the process works. Here I have a component that I've created and I like to call it an eye feature generator. I created this component for the sole purpose of building the eye feature and I like to save this in the background so if I ever want to take this eye feature and adjust it, I have that original generator to use. So in this case what I've got is a hole pattern for a handle in a door. So let's look at the features that generate this pattern. First, I have a sketch and if we look at the sketch, we can see that it's got construction geometry and some lines where the holes are, are anchored. Now you'll notice it's not dimension to the edge. I'm doing that on purpose and I'm also going to get rid of the projected geometry that Inventor creates with the sketch. And I'm doing that because I only want to get the geometry that is exactly related to this eye feature and not one bit more. I think it makes it a lot easier to place this when that time comes. Each one is a through hole in this case, created using the hole tool. It's the simplest way, and in truth this is the most accurate way we'd probably be doing this in this case. So now let's go ahead and extract the eye feature by going to the Manage tab and choosing the Extract Eye Feature icon located in the Author section. Once that dialog box comes up, I can choose either on screen or in the browser to go ahead and select my eye features. I could make adjustments as far as if I wanted to have dimensions that could change and so on, but we're going to go the simple route for now and just go ahead and take this as is so we won't have the option to change anything when we place that. That might be a good thing depending on your goals. And I'm going to go ahead and save this out to the default location, which by the way can be changed to a network location if you want to share this among several users for example. Now we're going to switch to a file that has a door that requires the handle that uses this mounting pattern. On the Manage tab, I can go to the Insert Eye Feature button and select the eye feature I just created. I'll get a dialog box that will let me change the angle that this is being placed at and the sketch plane I'm selecting, but we'll just choose the front face right there. Hitting Next, I could change any values I allowed to be changed, but in this case I didn't allow anything. That might be a good thing if you don't want anybody messing with this feature. Hitting Next again, I'll have the option to skip activating the sketch or to go ahead and activate the sketch. In this case I want to activate the sketch because I want to dimension this eye feature. I'll hit Finish, the eye feature gets placed but it jumps into a sketch so I can edit it. And now all I have to do is place any dimensions that I might want to use to go ahead and get this positioned. Once those are dimensions are placed, I can finish the sketch and we can see that the eye feature has now gone into the door. So it's a nice little time saver. I didn't have to draw that circle, place that sketch or draw any holes. I just selected the feature I'd already created and placed it on the screen. Next, we'll see how we can start adding more controls to this so we can vary dimensions, sizes and variants and so on and make this even more useful. But for now, here's the first shot at creating an eye feature. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in part two.